Welcome back to the 5-Minute Insight, your go-to source for uncovering the untold truths of the Israel-Palestine conflict. In our second episode, we're diving deeper into this complex issue, exploring four more critical facts that demand your attention. So, buckle up and get ready for another five minutes of eye-opening revelations. Let's begin. Number one, escalation conflict. They started it. We will finish it. Israeli Prime Minister's Big Warning for Hamas Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has expressed his specific objective in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. He aims to severely damage both the military capabilities and the governing infrastructure of Hamas, the Palestinian group in control of the Gaza Strip. More than 10,000 Palestinians killed in Israeli attacks on Gaza. Additionally, he has set a goal to secure the release of any hostages held by Hamas. He rejected calls for a ceasefire, describing them as calls for Israel's surrender to Hamas. The Israel Defense Forces reported striking over 11,000 targets linked to terrorist organizations in Gaza, with the escalating conflict and Israeli ground forces advancing their attack in Gaza. It has killed more than 10,000 Palestinian civilians as of now, making the deadliest conflict in this region in the last 50 years. Number 2. International Responses to the Hamas-Israel Conflict Hamas used advanced and precision weapons for the attack, despite the fact that the Hamas-ruled enclave of Gaza is a poor and densely populated area with limited resources. So the question here is who is funding Hamas and why? For a better understanding of its financial sources, it is important to know that Hamas has two distinct branches, the Dawa Social Service Wing and the Iz ad-Din al-Qasim Brigade's military arm. The Social Wing, Dawa, receives 70% of its funding from Iran. According to a Jerusalem Post article of 2021, these funds are being misused, diverted, and channeled toward terrorism due to mismanagement, the German Chancellor. Olaf Scholz stated that Hamas could not have conducted its recent unprecedented attacks on Israel without Iranian support in recent years. Turkey has faced allegations of aiding Hamas, particularly after President Recep Erdogan's ascent to power in 2002. Under the banner of social services, this money is being directed to the militants. Qatar has maintained strong relations with the United States while also having a close relationship with Hamas. A Qatari official verified, Qatar provided 1.49 billion in aid to Gaza between 2012 and 2021. Qatar has also been providing 30 million in aid to Hamas annually for the past five years. Number three, current scenario of the war, Gaza's sole cancer treatment facility, the Turkish-Palestinian Friendship Hospital had to cease operations as it ran out of fuel, confirmed its director. Amidst the turmoil, foreign passport holders in Gaza were permitted to exit into Egypt via the Rafah crossing, with approximately 500 people leaving on Wednesday and another to more civilians expected to arrive. However, the region continued to face airstrikes, particularly in the Jabalia refugee camp causing over 200 casualties and injuring nearly 800 people within just 24 hours. The violence has left more than 100 individuals missing. Furthermore, another phone and internet blackout has affected Gaza, reported by Palestinian telecom provider. Number 4. Western Support A hidden problem in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is racism. Even though Jews were once discriminated against, some Western support for Israel is rooted in a kind of racism. This may sound strange because racism is often linked to the color of one's skin, but it's actually about who has power. This racism becomes evident in how Palestinians are portrayed, especially in American and British media. Western countries also don't always stand up against what might be seen as racism from Israeli politicians. This racism comes from an old way of thinking and shows up in how Western nations back Israel, no matter what it does. As we conclude our second episode of the 5-Minute Insight on the Israel-Palestine conflict, we hope you've gained valuable insights into this ongoing and multifaceted situation. Remember, this is just the beginning of our exploration. 
The complexities of the conflict are far-reaching, and there's more to uncover. Stay tuned for our upcoming episodes, where we'll continue to unravel the lesser-known aspects of this important global issue. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for joining the 5-Minute Show.